Toby, a big welcome to Crawley. How happy are you to get the deal over the line? Yeah, buzzing. Um, delighted. Obviously, another step up for me in my, uh, in my career and just can't wait to get going now and get stuck in. Yeah, it sounds like a cliche, but is this the perfect time to join the club? Obviously, you've had your first couple of days of pre-season now. You know, you've you've met the lads, you've met the gaffer. Is, is this the perfect time to sort of get stuck in? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, missed the first week, but again, that's sort of how things happen. Um, so to get it sort of officially over the line and get stuck in, I've had a few days in pre-season now and a full week this week and then, uh, and then ready to go, obviously, first pre-season game next week. Yeah, tell us a little bit about how the move came about. When did you first hear about it? It's been in the sort of pipeline for a, for a week or so now. Yeah, it's um, so funnily enough, I was on holiday at the time um, and had the call from my agent, obviously saying that there was a bit of interest there. Um, and then things started to sort of really step up once I returned home. Um, so I'd obviously begun pre-season with Grimsby, uh, done a few sessions and then, like I said, football, it moves quick and obviously now here I am in, in Crawley. Yeah, you're sort of continuing that upward trajectory, aren't you? Obviously, from non-league into League Two and now into League One. So it's it's nice, I suppose, for yourself to have that sort of natural progression and you know give yourself a real test in League One. Yeah, I suppose my career's been a bit back to front in terms of other people maybe start higher and come back down, whereas I've sort of worked hard to get myself back up. Um, obviously, began as a professional at Crew, and then fell into the non-league circuit and have uh, sort of got my chance there and, and progressed. And like I said, just happy to see that my hard work's paid off again and, and take that next step now in my career. Yeah, you would have had conversations with the gaffer. How have they been so far? Yeah, uh, really, really good, to be fair. That was a, a big sort of factor in, in the decision to come here. Um, I think especially first day when I came, just to see how he works, how he speaks to you. I think there was a, sort of a full presentation on, on how I play and what he thinks I can bring to the team, which I thought was unbelievable. And like I said, after that first session, the, the detail that he goes into, it's sort of coaching that I've not had before, which I'm, I'm really looking forward to sort of getting stuck in with. Yeah, from the outside, what were your sort of initial impressions of the club? We were just speaking to to you know a few of the players that we've signed for, and they've said that the playoff campaign that we had sort of really sort of shot us into the limelight because obviously we're on Sky, so there was a lot of attention on us. So was that sort of a big factor in you signing as well? Yeah, I mean, I've always obviously known about Crawley, um, and then like I said, played against them numerous times, and then this year as well, obviously with Grimsby, um, and it stuck out exactly how they play and, and the style of football that they want to try and sort of implement on the on the match days and. Like I said, from playing against them both both games, home and away, um, you can see exactly what they're trying to do. And I think obviously the the run that they went on in terms of, I think everyone at the start of the season wrote them off um, as one of the sort of favourites to go down. But to see what they did last season was an unbelievable achievement. Um, and like I said, those playoff games, again, special performances and, uh, and good to get it over the line for them. Yeah, we've obviously spoke about how the gaffer spoke to you about your playing style but for anyone who perhaps haven't seen you play how would you describe yourself as a player a uh, bit of a ball playing centre half so I like to travel out with the ball um, I like to sort of see myself as good with both feet um, so again having spoken to the gaffer it, it sort of suits him perfectly in terms of what he likes to do and how he likes to play but I think for me my defensive side's obviously improved as I've matured and, and learnt more about the game um, so I'd sort of class myself as an all-round defender that, that likes to sort of play with the ball at his feet really yeah, well, as we said, it's an exciting time to join the club because we've just entered League One for only the second time in our history. And, you know, it's probably one of the toughest League Ones that there's been in the last few years. There's some really big hitters in there, some teams that, you know, not too long ago were playing in the Premier League. So we're under no illusion that it's going to be a tough season, but it should be an enjoyable one and one that the players can sort of grow into and test themselves, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. It's obviously going to be a challenging season. Um, but again, a, a massive achievement for Crawley to obviously get promoted to League One, there's some huge teams in there. If you look at the likes of, sort of Birmingham have come down, some massive names, but again, as a player, they're the, the test that you want and you want to be playing against the best players, the biggest crowds, the, the biggest stadiums. And like I said, to be doing that now with Crawley is, uh, is a special feeling. Yeah, we're not too far away from pre-season, obviously. Our games start next Tuesday against Lewis. We, you know, they will come thick and fast, won't they? Is, is that sort of something that you're really looking forward to, just getting the game started rather than the pre-season training? Yeah, I mean, pre-season's always tough, but... Um, like I said, before you know, it'll be first game of the season again. Um, it comes around really quickly, so it's it's all about just getting as much work in and now as we can. Um, sort of bedding in with the team, getting to know the players, the staff, how people like to work and operate. And like I said, before you know, it'll be first game of the season when we're ready to go. Yeah, all being well, we would have announced you alongside Gav as well, who joined you, yeah. obviously, from Grimsby last season. We were just talking to him beforehand. And is it nice to have someone, you know, a familiar face to travel down with? And obviously, as we said to Gavin, it's a long way from Grimsby down to Crawley. So someone that you're familiar with, does that help you set in a little bit yeah, quicker? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Gav's one of my best mates. I um, got really close to him last year at Grimsby and it's always a, a big thing, sort of moving away from home where you've been settled. And, you know, I, I was in Grimsby, to be fair. Everyone around the area that I live was, was brilliant. Um, and like I said, to make that move again, 
I don't think you can get sort of any further south as, as Brighton yeah. way. Um, so yeah, it's definitely making it easier. But the lads have all been brilliant in the first few days of being there and, uh, and already settling in. Yeah, tell us a bit about how you did. You and Kevin find out at the same time that you'd both be coming down here. Or was I it sort it, of guess wrong? Yeah, it was to be fair. I um, obviously I think it got leaked onto Twitter when the rumours were starting about myself and Gavin sent it through to me on WhatsApp. And then funnily enough, he'd um, a couple of days later was uh, was saying the same thing that he's potentially coming down. So obviously both both like get on like a house on fire so to have that coming through and um, like I said it just makes it much easier to settle in and but yeah delighted that he's here as well yeah not too long before the season starts obviously we spoke about pre-season is there a sense of you just want to get pre-season completely out of the way and just get the league game started or is it is pre-season something that you look forward to as a player so I suppose it's different for everyone isn't it? yeah I mean funnily enough I, I sort of like getting stuck into it I think um, obviously the off season for footballers now is a bit different no one ever really comes back unfit people keep on top of themselves um, and do the training that they need to so I don't really feel like I'm, I'm unfit so it's why essentially once you've had that break you're just ready to go again uh, obviously the first few weeks is nice just to have a complete reset and then like I said after that you're sort of ready to get back into it Perfect. Welcome to Crawley Thank you very much Cheers